hip hop generation is we need parents to be parents. And until we get parents and family values back into the homes, then we're gonna continue to have the same issues that we have now. Now the civil rights generation, you know, did a disservice. And to a certain degree, they've done so much to both let me and provide me to be what I am today. But on the other side, they left something called family values, hard work, community commitment. You don't even see that. That didn't come. These kids aren't learning about 50 Cent because they just watching videos. There's no parents around. So today you say, what can we do? I think the first and foremost thing that we have to do is get some of these parents to be parents and get some of these civil rights generation people to not just talk about how their son is not taking care of their kid, but show this. And they had the only reason why they ain't taking care of their kid because somebody ain't taking care of them. So when you go into the homes, that whether you're Latino or African American or whatever, where you see strong family values is where you don't see some of this foolishness that you continue to see on TV or, 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 or what's going on in the streets. You got these kids, a hip hop generation, some of us, we just don't love ourselves. And we don't love ourselves because the civil rights generation ain't love us. And so man ain't teach us how to love ourselves. So if you don't love yourself, then you'll never understand slavery, you'll never understand what it meant for you to be an African American here today, which your ancestors had to go through just to get here. Can, so, can, can I say something to that? I think um, we all remember the 50,000 that went down to Jenner, Louisiana. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. You see, the hip hop generation tried the method of the civil rights generation. And that way is old, it's tired, and as you can see, it just didn't work. There was no hip hop theme, there was no song that went along with the 50,000 that went down there. We went down with the same old tired slogan, no justice, no peace. And at the end of the day, what do we get? No justice, no peace. <laughs> Are you following me? So we need to understand this. So the hip hop generation tried these different methods and it just don't work. It's nothing wrong with putting the old way to bed. There's nothing wrong but with that. What way? we need well, to do is have We gotta remix it. We gotta remix the old no, way. Well, we don't want a puffy <laughs> remix, because that's something else. <laughs> But what we need the civil rights generation to do is pass the baton back and help guide what we need to do for the future. There's a document I have here from the um, FBI files and it talks about the, um, the Negro wants and needs something to be proud of. The Negro youth and moderate must be made to understand that if they succumb to the revolutionary teaching, they will be dead revolutionaries. There was no one there to protect young brothers like me coming up trying to understand why a city's burning and why are people are rioting. Do you understand what I'm saying? I had to go out in the street and get it. And that's something that hip hop um, had taught me. It's like, okay, I can speak out, but if I speak out, I gather bear the brunt of the entire government and everything that they uh, have brought on, the people that uh, put on the heads of everyone that went before me, I got to bear the brunt of that. So I was there and I seen how they dealt with Malcolm. I seen how they dealt with Martin. Hip hop generation today, seen how they dealt with Tupac and Biggie. These are unresolved issues with us as a people. Am I right or wrong? No, come on, talk to me. Am I right or wrong? These are unresolved issues. And if we in the hip hop generation seen how our parents' parents handled how they dealt with Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, we say, damn, we got to go for ourselves. And we did. So sick and dogs and water hoses on the hip hop generation? I think not. I think not. That's just not gonna happen. Not nowadays, especially not with me. I don't know about you, bro, but anyway, that's just not gonna happen. We are taking a different approach to how we're gonna deal with some of those unresolved issues that our parents should have dealt with a long time ago, and they haven't dealt with them.